Great goalies make recoveries look easy, fluid and instantaneous. After years of repetitive executions, Scott is back to his feet from a butterfly in a fraction of a second. The first simple recovery to learn is the one leg recovery from the butterfly position. Scott snaps one knee up, bringing the skate under his knee, and with power, pulls the other leg up into position. Youngsters will naturally favor one leg when performing this recovery, but both legs need to be developed equally. From the side, you really notice how controlled and quiet Scott's upper body is. His stick and gloves remain in a good, solid position. Awareness of the puck's location is crucial, so when you recover, you must be square to the puck, as Blake does here. You should also notice that as he recovers, he continues to track the puck carrier, which will allow him to aim his recovery towards the puck carrier. Blake recovers directly to his stance without getting too erect on his feet, as time is an important factor. Besides a simple knee recovery, we need to learn how to recover from your belly and your butt. CJ pushes explosively from the belly position up to his knees and then executes a typical knee recovery. Young goalies tend to have more awkward and slower recoveries because they have yet to develop sufficient upper body strength. Parker's experience, strength and age make his butt recovery a little more polished and powerful. Placing his glove by his hip, he drives up to his feet. The most common error beginning goaltenders make is the tendency to roll to their belly, which turns their back to the play. The goaltender needs to spend substantial time on these recoveries, especially from their butt. Throwing on the gear at home and firing off dozens of these recoveries is a great way to become as agile as the pros. In addition to repetitively practicing your recoveries, you need to address the strength issue. To recover explosively, you need to be strong, so upper body strength development plays a crucial role here for goalies of any age. One drill Steve has come up with to work on a goaltender's recovery skills is the tennis ball recovery drill. Using a racquetball racket and a tennis ball, the goaltender attempts all the recoveries while keeping the ball alive, bouncing on the racket. Besides the actual recovery work, this drill requires the goaltender to maintain concentration, balance, control, and fluid motion. Blake uses knee drops, belly drops, sliding butterflies, and butt drops. Great recoveries allow the goaltender to make saves others can't and forces shooters to make great shots because the goaltender has re-established solid positioning. Blake demonstrates the ability to stay square, to control most rebounds, to stay compact, and to stay low. Although it's considered an advanced skill, beginning goalies should also begin to learn to recover with the appropriate foot. Blake always gets up with the leg opposite the direction he will need to push. This allows him to start his explosive lateral push faster. Keeks Keys The secret to recoveries is repetition more than technique. Always get up first with the leg opposite the direction you need to go. Maintain puck focus throughout the complete recovery.